Hello everyone, it's your Sally Coach, and in this video we will be going over the Affine Cryptanalysis Cipher. And if you haven't already watched my Affine Decryption video, it is linked down below in the description. And if you look on the top right corner right now, you can check it out. With that said, let's get started. Alright, so first of all, in the Cryptanalysis Cipher, there are two things you need to know. First is that they're always going to give you two letters. So this means that right here, it tells us that P decodes to be G, and D decodes to be O. And the second part is, is that you always want to be solving for your A and B values first without trying to do it with any sort of intuition. So the, what I mean by that is that if we do start solving for the A value, we want to ensure that we're not trying to find a pattern or anything. It is complete math. So let's start by putting in our values already into our cipher. So, you know, P decodes to be G right here and D decodes to be O. So D to O, D to O, and lastly D to O. So let's also write these out into a math type of format. So G, which is six, goes to be, let me write it down here actually. Six goes to be P, which is 15. And then we have um, O, which is 14, goes to be three. So it doesn't look right when I say six goes to be 15 as P is actually the input value. But when we do want to find our A values, we want to work in that inverse order since A is always going to be inversely um, proportional to our input and output values. So this means that since it is inverse, we're going to switch all of our input and output values to make it easier on ourselves without having to do some extra math. So after we have these two different um, formulas, we want to shift it into a real formula. We want to create this into A times 14 plus our B value, mod 26 is equal to three mod 26. After that, we want to do the same thing for the bottom one with A times six plus B mod 26 is equal to 15 mod 26. Now to find our A value, because we don't want to be solving for a B value like this, we want to be solving for an A value like this, we will always be solving for A and then B. We will be um, finding the difference between our two formulas. And before we do find the difference, it's important to have our um, uh, this value right here always be positive. Because if it's not positive, it's going to mess up our negatives and have our um, mod 26 not work that well. So this means that we always want to have the greater one on top. So we're going to have a times 14, right? So this is going to be a minus a, but we keep the a because we want to keep that to figure out what it's going to be equal to. We have 14 minus 6, so we're going to multiply this by 8 because 14 minus 6 is 8. We're going to subtract the two b values because we're not solving for that. We need to run in mod 26, so we're going to keep that. And then we have 3 minus 15, which is negative 12 and then mod 26. All right, so once we do have this end formula out, we want to look at this value right here, this input value right here, because we're gonna find what the input value needs to be to become a multiple of our output value right here. So negative 12 is not a multiple of eight because negative 12 divided by eight goes to be some sort of decimal. We don't know what decimal, but it goes to be a decimal. So we want to run a modular 26 on it to find that multiple. So let's first add 26. We have negative 12 plus 26 giving us 14. 14 divided by 8 also gives us some sort of decimal value. But let's add another 26 and we all of a sudden get 40. 40 divided by 8 gives us 5, which gives us our A value being 5. This is how we solve for our A value and make sure we're not solving for our inverse A value. We are solving for our normal A value before we run the inverse. So after we do this, let me just erase some space right here. Then we will be plugging it back into one of our original formulas. So let's do the smaller one to make it easier on ourselves. So A times six plus B, let me just put a line through these so it's easier to read. Mod 26, is equal to our output, I mean the input, which is 15, mod 26. Now we're going to plug in our 5 right back into the equation. So 5 times 6 equals 30, plus b, mod 26, is equal to 15, mod 26. 
Now, since we are solving for our b value, we want to isolate the variable, meaning that we will be subtracting 30 from both sides. So this is going to leave us with b mod 26 is equal to 15 minus 30, which is negative 15 mod 26. And now let's try to figure out our b value. So we're going we're to run the modulus of 26 onto that negative 15, giving us negative 15 plus 26, which equals 11. This means our b value is going to equal 11. So we have a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 11. So after we found out those two values, we can plug it back into our decryption formula, which is going to be y is equal to a to the inverse x minus b um, modulus 26. So now we can plug in our values. Since we have a to 5, the inverse of that is 21 x minus b, so x minus 11, mod 26. After that, we can start with solving our letters. So we can first figure out what 11 and 11 right here to give us 0. And since 0 is a, it's very easy to figure out that one. So let's see what 11 is in our table. 11 is L. So we have L going into here. So L minus 11, 11 minus 11 gives us a. So we have L to a. Next, we can go to O because that's the next letter we have left. O to 14. So we have 21 times 14 minus 11, which is 3, mod 26, which gives us 3 times 21, which is 63, minus 52, because we need to run that mod 26, gives us 11. 11 is L. Next is S. So we're going to have S to 18. 18 minus 11 is 7, so we're going to have 21 times 7, 7, and then 2 times 7 is 14, 147. So this means we're going to have 147 minus 104, which is 7 minus 4, which is 3. 4 minus 0 is 4, 0. 43 minus 26 is equal to... 3, 13, 7, 1, 7. 17 is R. So we have S going to R. We can plug where all of that is. And the last one, B, which looks like glory right here. So I can just guess and say that's glory. Next, we can solve for K because we're not sure what that can be. K is 10. So we're going to have 21 times a negative 1 which is negative 21 plus 26 gives us 5. So k is going to go to f. Um, what's next? We can probably do z. z is 25. So we're going to have 21 minus 25 minus 11, which is going to be 14. And then 21 times 14 is equal to 4. We multiply by 8, 0. And then we have another 21 right here so that gives us 210 plus 84 which is going to be equal 294 we can run a modulus 26 on that now so 294 minus 208 8 14 6 8 86 minus 52 4 3 34 minus 26 2 14 8 0 so we have 8, which is I. Glory, it's probably is. So glory is. So I can also put Z to I right here. I can put X to S uh, nowhere else, actually. And now we can solve for C. Let me just clear up some space. C is going to be 2 in our table. So 2 minus 11. 2 minus 11, which is negative 9. 21 times negative 9 is equal to, let's figure that out, 9, 1, 8, negative 189. We can run a modulus on this now by adding like uh, one, 104. So 189 minus 104, 5, 8. So we have 85, which is actually negative, but we solve negatives by putting it backwards. 85 minus 52. 3, 3, so we have that negative 33 plus another 52, so 52 minus 33 is equal to 4, 12, 12 minus 3 is 9, 
19, we have 19, T. So I was solving for this. Glory is the, it's probably the, right here. U to H, we don't have. C to T right here. This is victory. And then um, glory is the reward of victory. So that is how you solve the app and cryptanalysis cipher. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a comment down below or subscribe. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.